Hi and welcome back to the channel. So just a quick review today. I was walking through Woolworths as usual. I don't really know why I'm in there all the time. But anyway, I was in there again and I saw garlic bread. Now, I wasn't sure about getting garlic bread because usually it's supposed to be garlic and butter to get, but as things are made cheaper, a lot of garlic breads usually use margarine, which this one does. Interestingly enough, this company's been intelligent and because they know they've made a, you know, how do you put it? A crap sort of bread with some margarine and herbs on it. They've thought, well, it's vegan, so let's put a vegan tag on it. And that's exactly what they've done. They've got a vegan tag, there's a vegetarian tag. So they've been smart about how they've dealt with this particular product. Anyway, brand is from Creative Foods. I don't know what that is, but looking at it here, it looks like it might be a local company based in Sydney. So I suppose, yeah, local, made of Australian products, whatever. I don't usually care about that, but I suppose it makes a difference for some people. So it's got the regular ingredients of garlic bread. There's nothing special here. It's just, uh, I don't know how you put it, low quality ingredients because it's overly processed and all that. But I suppose we're just here to taste it. You know, as with everything I, 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 I sort of review, it's good in moderation, but don't try to eat it all the time because you know a lot of the stuff is processed. You really want to stick to whole grains, fruits, vegetables, that sort of stuff. But you know, I suppose sometimes something different. Anyway, let's uh, cook it up and see what it tastes like. That's it cooked up. As you can see, when I cook up garlic bread, I always put it in a uh, in a foil. The reason I do that is because it keeps the steam inside and it keeps the uh, bread soft on the outside. Otherwise, you get that really hard, crusty bread, which some people like. But if you like a soft variety, you go wrap it in foil. It's really hot. Let's uh, try some. Oh. Got to be careful with the soft. Sometimes you burn your tongue and everything tastes like nothing. Yeah, that's all right. And this is what I said it is. Just plain bread with margarine and some herbs on it. Thinking about it now, I'm not even sure why I'm reviewing this to be honest, but I suppose I am reviewing it because it does have the vegan tag on it. Uh, all the other garlic breads didn't actually have that. So at least if this company's bothered to do that and have their stuff checked out to make sure it is vegan, I don't know if that's what the process is. It's probably not a process, but either way, it says vegan on it. So if you want garlic bread that's vegan, I suppose you can pick this one up. It tastes all right. Cool. That's about all there is to it. Make sure you leave in the comments if you want me to look at any products in particular. Otherwise I pick up really weird stuff and just talk about it, but it's up to you what you want to see. And that's about it. So I'll see you next time.